Hello boys and girls, thank you very much for joining us for another assembly. We're back, Fabian and me, and we're so happy to, to see you. And, um, Fabian? Yeah. Oh, you're a bit quiet, what's wrong? I don't feel very well, Martin. Ah, oh, boys and girls, Fabian doesn't feel very well. What's the matter, Fabian? Oh, I don't know. Martin, can you help me? Oh, well, I'm, um, uh, please. I can try, please. Oh, you poor thing, Fabian. I'll I'll try to help you. I'm not quite sure what I can do. Oh, I know. What well, I've got. You're so lucky. It just happens that today I bought with me my screwdriver. What? It's a screwdriver. Well, you, you yeah. I mean, I I use this to to fix things, and I thought it might work to fix Martin yes Fabian put it down oh okay sorry oh I know oh okay what is it well this is good this really helps me out I've got bicycle pump that's definitely going to help me fix you isn't it how can that help me well it helps me uh, with my bike and I just thought it might in some way help you. Martin! Yes, Fabian. Put it down. Okay. Oh, I know! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this is perfect. It just so happens that I've got with me my stethoscope. Oh, a stethoscope. What does that do? Well, it helps me listen to your heartbeat, Fabian. So, boys and girls, let's listen to Fabian's heartbeat. Ooh. Ooh. What, what is it? What is it? What can you hear? Oh, no. What's wrong with me? Well, I can hear your heartbeat. Yeah. And, uh, I, well, that's it. I can just hear your heartbeat. Yeah, but what can you tell me? Can you fix me? Well, no, I don't actually know what's wrong. I can just hear your heartbeat. I'm not a doctor. If you want, I can get my screwdriver back out again. Um, what do you think, boys and girls? Martin? Yes, Fabian? I think I'm going to lie down. Okay, probably a good idea. You look after yourself, Fabian. I'll speak to the boys and girls for a bit. And hopefully, maybe, we'll see you later. Okay. Bye, boys and girls, for a moment. Bye. Oh, there we go. You're going to have a lie down. Poor Fabian. Wow. Do you know, boys and girls, when I stop and think about it, Fabian was probably right to say no to me operating on him, wasn't he? I'm not a doctor. I can't heal him. I would do a lot more harm than good. But you know, doctors, they're very good at what they do. They're very good at using lots of different instruments to help them make people better. It's not easy to make people better, you know. You know, if you had uh, tonsillitis and you had it lots and lots and lots of times and it was really, really sore, you might have to have an operation and that operation could take a whole hour. Or if you had problems with your kidneys and it's your kidneys that help clean your blood, well, if it was a really big problem, you might have to have a kidney transplant and that operation would take three hours. That's a long time. And I had a friend who had a problem with his heart and he had to have an operation. And you know what? That operation took seven hours. Wow. Well, even though we had an operation for seven hours, that wasn't it. Because he had to have some recovery time. He had, he was ill for ages and he had to stay in bed for weeks and weeks and weeks. I tell you, boys and girls, if you had an operation like that and had to stay in bed for as long as my friend stayed in bed, you would be begging to go back to school. You really would. Well, do you know what? We're going to look at our true story from the Bible now. And we're going to hear about a woman who was really sick and she had gone to lots of doctors and they didn't know how to help her. But luckily... We're thinking about encounters with Jesus. And so this woman was another person who got to meet Jesus. Jesus was on his way to the house of a man called Jairus, whose daughter was very ill. The crowd around Jesus was so large, they almost crushed him. Among the crowd was a woman who had been ill for 12 years with an illness that made her bleed. She had spent all her money going to doctors to make her better, but her condition had only got worse. In Jewish law, her illness, as it caused her to bleed, made her unclean, so she had to avoid going near other people 
or touching them when she was suffering. Hoping to go unnoticed, she crept up behind Jesus. If I just touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed, she thought. The woman reached down and touched the edge of Jesus' garment. Immediately, her bleeding stopped and she felt well. At once, Jesus knew power had gone out from him. He turned round in the crowd and asked, Who touched me? His disciples replied, Everyone is crowding around and pushing, yet you ask, Who touched you? But Jesus said, Someone touched me. I know that power has got out from me. The woman came trembling and fell at Jesus' feet. She confessed in front of everyone that she had touched him and had been instantly healed. Jesus replied, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. Well, listen, boys and girls. Oh, Fabian, you're back. Yeah, I'm back. I'm feeling a bit better. Oh, I'm so pleased. We were worried about you, weren't we, boys and girls? Oh, thank you. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better. You probably want to go and have a, another lie down later. Just look after yourself, OK? Oh, OK, I will. Brilliant. Well, boys and girls, did you notice how amazing Jesus is? Oh, I did, I did. Oh, brilliant. You see, unlike the doctors who, or all doctors who need to use all sorts of equipment to make people better. Jesus was all that lady needed. And unlike people now who need months and months of time to recover from operations, did you notice that lady was healed just like that? Oh yeah, just like that, just like that. No operation time, no recovery period. She was healed just like that, just like that. <laughs> I know. This lady had met Jesus, God the Son, and he had the power to heal her instantly, quickly, and without any bother. In fact, Jesus was so powerful, is so powerful, that he didn't even need to look up to heal her. Did you notice that? I did! Well done, Fabian. All that lady needed to do was touch his cloak. Touch his cloak. Well listen, Fabian. Thank you. Now, you might be wondering something. Oh, I'm wondering something. You are? Yeah, I've got a question. What's your question? Why did Jesus do it? Why did Jesus do it? That's a great question, Fabian. Thank you. Well, boys and girls, you might wonder that question as well. Why did Jesus heal that lady? Because people do still get sick today, don't they? So why then, and not all the time now? Good question. <laughs> you asked it, oh yeah. you? Well, here was the thing. When Jesus was here, when he left heaven and came down to this earth to walk with us, he brought glimpses, he brought signs, he brought examples of his forever happiness with him. Jesus was able to show us how it is in God's forever happiness all the time. And that's what we can look forward to, not by doing lots of things, but by trusting in Jesus to be our friend and our saviour king. Just like that woman trusted that Jesus was powerful to save. Jesus still saves today. He saves us from the most important thing that we need saving from. What's that? That, Fabian, is sin. We need saving from sin. It stops us being God's friend. But that's not what God wants. God wants us to be his friend. And so Jesus, he died for us to take our place and our punishment so that we can be in his forever happiness. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it just? Well, boys and girls, we're going to sing now of our Saviour King Jesus. This is another new song. I hope you enjoy it. Of course, it's got actions. It's got actions! The boys and girls are really good at actions, Martin. I know they are. That's why I, get, I choose songs that I know you're going to like, and I'm sure you're going to like this one. So enjoy it, boys and girls, and Fabian and me will see you next Wednesday. Have a wonderful rest of your day, either at home or in school, and we'll see you soon. Bye, boys and girls. Bye, boys and girls. Great to see you. Bye, bye. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. He can heal the sick. He can calm the storm. He's the 
Son of God, He can save us from sin, and He calls us to follow Him. Jesus met a man covered in disease, knew he needed to be clean. Jesus just touched him, the disease was gone. Only God can do that. Who is this man? He's the King of Kings, he's the Lord of Lords. He can heal the sick, he can calm the storm. He's the Son of God, he can save us from sin, and he calls us to follow him. Jesus and his friends caught in a storm, looking like they're gonna drown. Jesus yelled, quiet, and the storm was calm. Only God can do that. Who is this man? He's the King of Kings, He's the Lord of Lords. He can heal the sick, He can calm the storm. He's the Son of God, He can save us from sin, and He calls us to follow Him. Jesus on the cross was crucified, darkness covered all the land. After three days, Jesus rose again. Only God can do that. Man. He's the King of Kings, He's the Lord of Lords. He can heal the sick, He can calm the storm. He's the Son of God, He can save us from sin, and He calls us to follow Him. Yes, He calls us to follow Him. Are you gonna follow?